All right, uh, Soccer 605 here with Coach Lang Wiedemeyer, the head coach of the South Dakota State Women's Program. Thanks, Coach, for being with us today. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. Thanks, Shane. You know, uh, this morning on the way over, I thought, geez, Lang must have started that program six or seven years ago, but it's been a while longer than that, hasn't it? It has. I'm in my 12th season now, and it's, it's hard to believe I've been here that long. You know, for an upstart program, I guess you can't call yourself an upstart program, but you certainly were. Uh, you've had a tremendous amount of success here already. Well, it's certainly been uh, a lot of hard work. I mean, moving, uh, starting a new program in the early part of the century, uh, transitioning to Division One, uh, all of that's taken quite a lot of time and effort, not just from me, but from the whole athletic department and the school. So, but it's been a great ride so far. You know, I remember that very first team you put together, and um, there were a lot of girls on that team that I knew. Um, I, I can't say the same thing today. You've kind of had to stretch your wings out a little bit, haven't you? Yes, we have, and uh, we've, we've been able to get players from all over the country now, and I think one of the, the positives is we've still kept some of the best players from South Dakota here at home and, and playing with our program, and that's certainly a, certainly a goal of ours every year. Well, I think, you know, when you take a look at the very top players in South Dakota, I think, uh, you know, we've shown that all the time going to ODP and in college that we do have players who can compete. Absolutely. There, there are players. I think that uh, the quantity of players in the, in, the, in the state compared to some of the other states will never be uh, equal. Uh, but there is a talent here. There's some very good talent, and it just takes a little bit of, uh, of finding and developing. Um, you know, you, you uh, started out with that first team, and... You know, there has to be some dramatic differences between recruiting back then and putting a team together versus now, especially that you're D1. Well, there is. Uh, I, mean, I think that we, we aspire to try to bring in the best players, but also the best people. And so we try to take a lot of time in getting to know the players that we recruit, uh, knowing something about their families, their background, their history, uh, their expectations, their aspirations. And so we, we, it's a very exhaustive process when trying to find the right fit for players coming to, into our program. You know, it must uh, be comforting to parents around the country to be able to send their daughters to a safe place like Brookings, South Dakota to live for four or five years. It is a great place. It's a great place to be. It's a great place to raise a family. South Dakota State has a very welcoming atmosphere the, from the professors to the athletic department to everybody in between. Uh, they do a great job of trying to look after the students and the student athletes and, and make the environment conducive to uh, having a, a great learning experience. They tell me that uh, every year for a college coach, it's like putting a big jigsaw puzzle together when you're trying to put a team together. What's uh, What do you have that's special that you have in this uh, group of women this year? I think we have some very good leaders. Uh, some of our seniors that are playing with our program now, people like Corey Bonte, Caleb Braffitt, Kelsey Ferguson, Steph Peterson, they, those girls have been through, they've played in NCAA matches, they've played in conference tournament championships, they, they've played against some of the best teams in the Midwest, and, and there's a lot of experience and a lot of leadership there, and I think that they are really driving the team from within uh, from when th within the inside and uh, helping us uh, achieve our goals. Do you have any high school stars committed that you can tell us about yet? Well, we we can't, not until the signing date in February. Uh, the freshmen, you know, out of the freshmen we've got right now, we do have one South Dakota girl, Kristen Ford, who's doing a pretty good job for us right now, coming off the bench, usually up front, sometimes in midfield, and, and so we're, we're excited about her contributions. Well, that's fantastic. You know, we've uh, been watching the watching the scores and uh, finally happy we can get up here. But uh, you've played some pretty tough teams already this year and uh, hung in there real tight with them. We have. We, we've had a tough schedule. We always try to schedule the best teams we can in our non-conference to try to create, uh, to try to build upon uh, the team success uh, going into the conference part of the season. And that's really the most important part and the focus. Um, but uh, we, we try to play the, the best teams we can. And we had Kansas last week and had them up one nothing for most of the game and gave up a couple late goals to their credit. They fought back, but we were right in it. We missed, uh, missed some chances to win that game, but uh, I think that built a lot of confidence for our players. So uh, we're right here before your Green Bay match, and uh, what do you have coming up besides them this, this coming week? Well, we have Green Bay tonight, and then we have University of North Dakota at 1 o'clock on Sunday here at home, and then next week we travel to Iowa State and Northern Iowa. Now, uh, you beat uh, North Dakota last year, right? Or have you? We played them in a scrimmage, and uh, we've beaten them in, in scrimmages in the past, but this is the first time we've played them since moving to Division One. So uh, they have a pretty good team and a couple names that South Dakota people will recognize there, so it'll be a good matchup for, for those kids as well. Absolutely. Uh, it's, uh, they've done a good job in their transition from Division Two to Division One, and they play a formation that's a little bit different than what we see usually, a 3-4-3, and so that's, uh, that'll be interesting to see tactically the chess match and how that all equates.
So you were uh, probably around for quite a few of those years back in the good old days when USD and, and SDSU had that, you know, the big rivalry going on. Do you see that uh, developing again as they come into D1 too? Absolutely. I think that uh, their, their, their coaches down there are doing a good job with that program and rebuilding it. And and uh, they're, they'll be tough in the Summit League and, and add another good competitor. Well, Coach Lang Wiedemeyer, South Dakota State U. Um, known you ever since you came to South Dakota. I got to tell you, I'm very proud of uh, what I've seen you accomplished. And, uh, and you know, you better watch out because you might be one of those guys that they say, yeah, he's coached at the same school for 42 years. <laughs> well, it's, it's certainly, we love Brookings. We love South Dakota State. The support is great. And, and uh, it, it's, been a, it's been a wonderful ride so far. Well, thanks again for your time. And I'm sure we'll be catching up with you at least on the phone on uh, Coach's Corner and maybe uh, hopefully get some more video from you uh, next, next time. Fantastic. Thanks.